it's not a walkthrough, playthrough, review, anything like that. It's just me playing the game badly, so you can see what it looks like. Yeah, okay then. <laughs> That's just... Hmm. Again, this one is slightly off to the left. You, you're just losing the first line of pixels on the left. I don't understand why, but anyway, this is Donkey Kong. I'm going to have to find a way of labelling this or titling it so that I can put up the video without Nintendo kicking up a stink and flagging it or something. I'm going to have to call it something else. Okay, so Donkey Kong on the Commodore VIC-20. There's a very... Ooh, good God. There's a very good version of Donkey Kong on the Commodore 64. Um... This is the first time I played it on the Vic. Oh, you bastard. Oh, I like the halo above him when he dies. This makes me chuckle. It's... Oh! It's fast. Uh, oh! Oh! Ass. <laughs> There's something very comical about this. Um... I, I can't put my finger on it. Oh, get off the laddie. But, oh, God. It's... <sighs> Mario looks more like Andy Cap, the the cartoon character from, like... There was, he, he had a cartoon series in some newspaper or other years ago. Um, yes, this looks like Andy Cap plays Donkey Kong. He, he, he needs a pint of pint of bitter in his hand while he's doing this. Did he have a northern accent? I imagine he probably did. Unemployed from a mining town. Probably lived in workshop. Ah, I didn't want to do that. It's great though. It's... 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 I have played some very bizarre ver What What is going on with these diagonal ones? I have played some very bizarre versions of, oh my god, versions of Donkey Kong. But this is possibly one of the most amusing. And the Dragon 32, which is a machine, and not, well, it is more capable than the Vic-20. But it's, it's of the same era. Oh, you burk. I didn't really want to do that. Um, yeah, the Dragon 32 has a much more authentic kind of Donkey Kong that feels like Donkey Kong. This... <laughs> this is like comedy Donkey Kong. Um, it's, it's got all the features that you would expect. I mean, it's... It, it's... It's Donkey Kong, but... Oh, crap. It is... It is very much comedy Donkey Kong. I love it. Oh! Uh, uh, uh. Oh, up we go. Up, up there. Yeah. Oh, God, Kong there. He looks like he's got... How many eyes has he got? He's got a whole row of eyes across the front, front of his face. Like, like one of those funny flying blobs in Doom. Oh, go up. Oh, yeah. Uh... Uh, I'll go away. Oh, 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 bollocks. Harsh. Well, it's not harsh, obviously my fault completely, but I didn't like dying. I'm not good at this game. I have never been good at Donkey Kong. Uh, ooh, uh, oh, bollocks. Didn't want to do that. I'm playing this with an Atari 2600 joystick, which, aside from, like, PlayStation pads, which I think are great, this is my favourite joystick. If I'm playing a game that only requires one button, I will always go for the Atari 2600 stick. Um, call me a stick in the mud. Pun somewhat intended. But I really like it. And it goes well with these kind of games. Okay, that is Donkey Kong on the Vic-20. Played 
via the penultimate plus cartridge from the future was 8 bit. Thank you for watching. Hello. Duh. Not awake. <laughs> Late night. Yeah, okay. Um, today's question for Q&A is from Sam De Laurentiis. Link to their channel down there. For Q&A, with having so many games and game systems to choose from, does it become difficult sometimes to pick what you actually want to play? If so, how do you go about choosing what to play? I guess it's a paradox of choice kind of thing. Yeah, it, it is really... I, I would say it's really difficult. It depends, actually. Um, because if I am play, I have two purposes for playing games. Actually, no, there's more than two. I, I've, I've got several purposes for playing games. There is the kind of game where I've got a lot of time to spare, and I want to really get into it and and invest some time in it. And in cases like that, it's going to be a modern game. It's probably going to be on the PS4, and I actually don't have a lot of games on the PS4. So, you know, it's going to be down to one of three or four games. Um, and that it's not difficult to make a choice out of those games. Um, then there is the... I've got 10 or 15 minutes to kill kind of thing. And in those cases, I play something on a handheld, on an emulator. And then it gets tricky. But I have a set of go-to games and I maybe just cycle through them, it's like a couple of minutes on this, a couple of minutes on that, and it's, it's Galaxian, Galaga, Battle Zone, um, that kind of thing, classic 80s, sort of up-the-screen shooters quite often, don't scramble, and, and some later stuff, but classic arcade games, um, and I'll play a few, and it's always the same ones. Where it gets tricky is when I'm going to record videos because uh, how do you choose? Um, everything I record currently obviously I'm using real hardware it's all on that telly um, Everdrive cartridges and that kind of thing uh, I'm... I'm I <laughs> I've got lots of genuine original cartridges and discs and all of that sort of thing here, but they're all, you can't see it. I've got a pile of plastic storage boxes here, covered over with a throw, and then there's some in boxes there and some in boxes under the bed, and there's some, it's all pretty much in storage, not easily accessible. So everything I'm making videos of is on EverDrive cartridges, and... Picking one is not easy because nine times out of ten I don't know what the game is like. I look for stuff, firstly that I haven't played already. I'll pick a system, that's really where I start. Pick a system, if it's one where I've just recently got an EverDrive, I'll start there, uh, like the snares. Um, or I've just recently picked up that system, like I've got a little Famiclone thing, mini NES whatever, and like the penultimate cartridge thingy in the VIC-20, I'll, I'll do something like that. Something recent where I've, I've still got a whole load of stuff where I'm thinking I need to play on that. So I'll pick my system and then I'll just look at the list of games, discount any that I've already made a video of, and look for titles that I have a rough idea. I either have heard of the game or I have an idea what kind of game it is and think it's something I could pick up and play and not need a manual. Because if it's on an EverDrive and you need a manual, you're screwed. And because I'm making videos and I make them in batches, I don't want to have to spend a lot of time learning how to control the thing. And I'm, it's never going to be like a strategy strategy game or RPG or anything with massive depth because that's not going to make a good video and honestly I just don't care about that kind of game anyway um, 
The only strategy game I ever really liked was um, Command and Conquer Red Alert. And I did play the, the Dune thing that came out before, that was at Dune 2 on uh, on the Amiga. I did enjoy that. But mostly, you know, it's it's going to be platformers, shoot em ups, beat em ups, maybe, that kind of thing. But something fairly simple, pick up and play, that you can easily make a video of. And I've got to get the gist of that from the title. And that's how I do it. I just, I'll, I'll run through the list and look and think, is that something I can make a video of and and stand half a chance of being able to play for five minutes? Uh, it's, I won't say it's difficult, it's not difficult, but it's not, um, I would not say I know what I'm doing when I do it, but... <laughs> This is me. That's just stating the obvious, isn't it? Yeah. I hope that answers your question. That's kind of all I've got to say about it, really. It, it depends what I'm doing. If I want to play for a long while and, and spend some time, something on the PS4. Otherwise, handheld, play a few random old-school arcade games. And for videos, hmm run through the Everdrive cartridges and see what it looks like I'll be able to play that I haven't done before. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for your question. Um, if you've got a question you would like answering in a video like this, God, can you see I'm t brain... my mouth is running ahead of my brain and then kind of hitting the buffers and stopping. Um, yes, if you've got a question you'd like answering in a video like this, just leave a question in the comments below. Start your question with four q and A. I I am answering all questions within reason. Um, be aware that I've got a long list of them, so it does take me a time to get to them. So if you ask one today, don't expect an answer tomorrow or next week or even next month. It's going to be a while, but I am... I've got a list, and they're all going on the list, and I appreciate all questions. Okay. Thank you for watching. Not without a knighthood. Not a chance. Anyway, Benway who? Oh. You lot. Uh. Hello. Uh. What? Oh. Please subscribe. Thank you. Can I go now?